this tree outside my husband's office has really nasty tent caterpillars in it. Uh, it's a tree that shouldn't be here. We were supposed to get it dug out, but we didn't. I think it's a choke cherry tree. And it's just absolutely disgusting. So what happens is these tent caterpillars hatch and then they create this little cocoon, which is their safe safety. And they go and they defoliate your trees like they're doing here. And then at nighttime, they go back into the cocoon. And then they will lay more eggs and they create more cocoons. And the process continues until the tree is completely defoliated, which is just absolutely disgusting. But I am gonna simply cut these out and put them in the trash because I don't care about the tree. If I cared about the tree, I would pull them out by hand and put them in soapy water and drown them and uh, get them out. But yeah, this is just absolutely nasty. <laughs> this is one of the jobs I don't like doing. Let's get it done. So I decided I'm going to try to remove these nasty tent caterpillars out of here. They're climbing on the branches because I didn't get out here early enough in the morning. So I have to just do the best I can to get them out of here. I'm going to put them in the soapy water below, cut the branches off, to try to make sure I get this fully submerged. Get the nest is just absolutely gross. It's so gross. Dunk it in there. I'm going to try to see where else they're crawling on here. This one they're fully crawling on too. Oh, what I don't want is I don't want any of them knocking to the ground because then I'll just have to come back and do this again. So, see, there's the main nest on this one here, and I don't. Back to see where I see them and where I don't. If I don't see any else, let that set. This one, they're all in kind of the same branches. So, as long as I get them in the bucket. It's one of the grossest jobs <laughs> that I have. I can shovel, I can shovel manure, I can do lots of things, but taking worms out of trees grosses me out. If you have the same problem at your house, let me know in the comments below. So that was a quick job. I'm going to go fill this bucket with water and make sure that they're drowned. And then I'm going to put them in the in the trap. I'm not going to put this in the compost because I don't know if there's eggs in there. And, and I certainly don't want to have any more nests this year. If you take care of this first thing in the spring before it hits 70 degrees Fahrenheit, then the eggs don't hatch. And then you can Pull the whole egg pod out of the tree. I didn't have any this year that I can show you. In the past years I really like to attack my apple trees. I've been able to find the egg pod and, and pull it off or the egg mass. It's like a toffee looking substance. The moth lays the eggs actually in the fall and they go over the winter and then they emerge in the spring believe it or not. If this video is helpful give us a thumbs up so YouTube knows to share this content with others. Also, check the playlist in the description below. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.